everyone. So I am the beekeeper at Bjorns Colorado Honey, and we've been getting some questions about what propolis is and how bees uses it. Um, and while all our equipment here uh, is in storage over the winter, it's actually the perfect time to, to show that. So this is uh, Honey Supers. It will all become um, honey in the spring and the summer. Uh, but taking a look at the entrance here, this is called a bottom board. It's gonna have brood chambers above that. It's gonna have a queen excluder uh, stopping the queen from getting into the honey supers, which is gonna come above that. And then you're gonna have a, bee, uh, a lid, uh, something like that. But taking a look at the entrance, you will see the propolis right here. So all of this that you're taking a look at here is gonna be propolis. Bees make it from tree sap and plant resins um, as a defense against bacteria, diseases, uh, and viruses. And what they do is that they actually walk through this and it cleans the little bee feeds from viruses, fungal uh, diseases, uh, and bacteria and germs that they would otherwise spread in the hive, uh, potentially killing the bees. So uh, propolis means before the city in Latin, uh, because that's how bees use it. Um, it's gonna do awesome this time of the year for colds, uh, flus, viruses, kids that goes to school to just boost their immune system so they don't get sick. But recent studies also shows how propolis will make your body produce less histamines. So if you eat propolis honey during cold and flu season, going up to spring season when the uh, allergy season starts, you can actually help your body not get symptoms from the allergies by just eating a teaspoon of propolis honey a day.